Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have some really breaking news and why I honestly, yo, LA, California, I feel really bad for you guys, um, Californians in particular, just in general. <sighs> Y'all definitely need a governor who is 2A because what I'm about to show you guys, let, let that would have been my child. Let that would have been my child and this bitch came on my property. No, there would not be no, oh, I'm sorry that I shot you in your face. No, you would be rightfully deserving of that bullet. But without further ado, let me go ahead and show you this um, video. It's um, by Decoy Voice. He's out of California. He's out in California and he keeps up on all the ladies, latest crazy things that come on in California. Um, so without further ado, let's go and watch his video. walks up to a random house and begins smashing out their windows. Sorry. In Los Angeles, California, a woman with a pickaxe nonchalantly walks up to a random house and begins smashing out their windows. of the aftermath show the windows completely destroyed and the worst part is just inside the window was the homeowner's Me. baby but thankfully the grandmother heard the commotion and was able to take them to safety now they... covering these stories i usually good job grandma sorry you had to be put in that position wish you would have had a gun to fucking blow that bitch away because that's exactly what she deserved try to find out why this wasn't a completely random incident but in this case no as Daily Mail reports that she actually smashed up the house in Pasadena twice, where the woman had to walk quite a distance to pick up this random house. With the police stating they don't know why she picked this house, but she was having some sort of mental crisis. And this sentiment is echoed by the homeowner. She needs to be in the right place, getting the right help. And that's a, that's okay. Any excuse. That is the problem with these fucking Californians, man. Your baby, your, your, your baby was left in the custody of your grandma. And this is not the first time this woman did this. And yet you still want to say she needs to be in a place to get help. No, there's some individuals. You can't just keep blaming this violence on mental health. This woman came to your house twice already. Okay. Like, are you, like, what is wrong with these people? It's like they, it's like they crave annihilation. That's what they crave at their, to their own detriment. I'm like, you have got to be fucking kidding me. Stop it with the feeling sorry for these fucking crazy ass people. Look at how she dressed. Does she seems like she's homeless? Does she seems like she has mental problems? That woman looked dry. She looks like she was well taken care of. And she might have some anger issues out of jealousy. I don't know what. Or maybe she just wanted to pick up a pick. Just think about it. Who picks up a pickaxe to go bust out people's windows? And not once, but, you know, twice. This is not the second time she's done it to this house. But the second time she has been there, apparently, to this um, for this individual around there. But it's like, look, at some point, you know... You have to take the kitty gloves off and say, nah, bitch, nah, you're going to jail and you're going to stay here for a long time. You're not going to play the, um, play us and say, this is mental health. You know exactly what you're doing. And if you had a gun, I promise you her mental illness will be fixed right then and there. If not, well, she would have just ate a bullet someone's found me which is really sad this woman put his home and family in incredible danger but he still has to give the but she deserves pity to pledge thank you just like the story in la where a woman was attacked with garden shears and had to undergo surgery the woman's mother jumped to saying the attacker is the real victim and what's with this common theme in los angeles where the residents victims police and even myself have to make sure when saying hey I wish I wasn't attacked, but someone also think of the attacker. It's almost like before you say, I want criminals to be punished in a very liberal area. You first need to hedge your bet with, but only if they're not a victim themselves, because I dare not offend the woke brigade. 
because look at these Twitter responses. Crying for pickaxe free zones, pickaxe buybacks, and missy periods. This is, and this is the thing, okay? It doesn't sense. matter. It doesn't matter. If you take away guns, people like this individual will actually go out and get other weapons. If people actually want to cause harm, you're not going to keep them um, from doing that by taking away guns. Okay, your only people you're going to hurt are the law abiding citizens who could stop these dumb fucks from from going on and raging their violence all over the fucking city. She used a pickaxe for crying out loud. You don't think someone might get a saw? Ah, like, like, or a machete, a knife. It's like, some people these days, some people these days. X reform. Now granted, all likely satire posts calling out how laws don't stop criminals because breaking laws is what makes a criminal a criminal. <laughs> in the event a criminal zeroes in on you or your home, what does Los Angeles expect you to do? I recall that Instagram story of a man breaking into someone's home in LA. Hey homie. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. But the intruder was able to take away the homeowner's piece, and I can't even show you the damage he was able to do to the homeowner. And Damn. I can't really believe the homeowner was only put in this position because of his reluctance to defend himself and his property. Yeah. Fear of the consequences of stopping someone from breaking into your home. Yeah. Now I'm not saying we need to go overboard. No, nope. fuck that. I'm most definitely. Yeah, I'm. I don't give a shit. When I'm living out in the country with me being a programmer, I will most definitely install some turrets, automate those bitches. And if anybody gets near my damn property, especially if I'm in a stand your great, um, stand your, a stand your ground state. You will be met with deadly force. But there does need to be some sort of happy medium of saying, I want to feel safe in my home, but I want intruders breaking into my home to not feel safe. And anyone that doesn't believe with that logic is not only a liar, but a hypocrite. Yep. Because it's funny how all these soft on crime politicians and activists never live in Section 8 housing with their doors unlocked. No, apparently feeling safe in your home is reserved only for the elite. So if you appreciate my concise, lighthearted commentary on current events, please consider joining the channel for as little as two bucks a month. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and be sure to check out my videos on what's really going on in these cities before they memory will it forever. He's a great, I started watching his stuff a little while ago. Um, it's really interesting to see people from California, California, actually speak out about some of these liberal, insane policies that they passed there and how I'm like thinking to myself, because I remember when I decided to do, uh, do the last couple of semester, like um, trimesters, in um grad school online i decided to finish that out in california california was not like this like there were some parts in san fran that i wouldn't go around because i literally did have some um homeless man fucking follow me like literally a cost um cost me on the freaking street and i had my earphones in and i like i said i don't like to carry cash fuck that nope i don't carry cash i think there's a lot of freaking public systems out here to help these people who are unfortunate because it's the middle class who literally get fucked over from these programs, even though they pay so much into them. So I, when it comes to the poor, I don't like giving my cash out on the street. If you are hungry, I'll go get you some food, but I will not give you cash because all I know you're just going to go get drugs or go get alcohol and you're just going to get reckless and wild on the street. But anyways, this individual followed me to my car in San Francisco. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, you know what? I gave him whatever I had at that time, but that was my awakening up. I will never carry cash in my fucking pocket. This homeless ass man followed me all the way to my fucking car. And I, and I, you know, I didn't have a gun. I mean, at the time I was still a student, so I really didn't, you know, it wasn't really feasible for me to even have a gun on campus and all this other stuff. So I told myself as soon as I get out of school, my first time I'm a homeowner, I'm getting, I'm getting, you know, let's just say I, I got... I, I load it up. Okay. So I mean, this weekend I'm actually thinking about going out and buying a nice handgun. Um, so I can go shoot, but like in this, in the crazy times that we have now, I'm just really surprised someone out of California is, you know, making, shining a light into all this stuff. And I pray that he stays safe over there. Um, and you know, you guys can go check out his channel. His channel is called decoy voice and he's pretty funny. Um, and much love to you from Arizona slash Missouri. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye guys.